Hi, my name is Monique Aipasa and I'm founder and owner of Balance Your Energy by VitalTouch.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is day number 19 already of my 30-day video challenge that I call Tap into my 30 marvelous M tips to help you become a marvelous master of creating more of what you do love. The magical power of M words. Yes, during this 30 day video series, I challenge myself to come up with 30 words that start with the letter M, and as in my name, Monique, with the sole intention to inspire, uplift, and empower you to help you raise your vibrations so that I can truly make a wonderful difference in your life and in mine as well. So, how does that sound to you? Sounds like a great deal to me. I love creating win-win situations. So, would you love to know what marvelous M word I have in store for you today? Well, ta 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 ta, -ta. Mind. Oh, mind. Well, according to the dictionary, the meaning of the word mind is, let me see what I have here on my list. Okay, memory, remembrance, way of thinking, what a person thinks or feels, take care, attend to, giving attention to. Mind you, a lot of words. Anyway, so what I would love to share with you regarding to this marvelous word M is what I have learned during my years of studying in the field of personal development. First, I'd like to start off with showing you this book. It's a Dutch version of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. For those of you who has not ever heard of this wonderful man before, he lived in the early 1930s and he interviewed over 500 highly successful people, mostly millionaires at that time. Can you imagine even before internet? <laughs> the young people among us cannot just imagine that. Well, any which way, he wanted to know what they have in common for their success. And one of the things that all of these people told him, shared with him, is that it truly is really important to mind your mind. And I've been following a, a someone, a man by the name of Bob Proctor. And for those of you who have been watching the movie The Secret, he was featured in that movie and he explained that our mind actually consists of two parts. So we have the conscious mind and we have the subconscious mind. So the conscious mind is the one that I am speaking to now, the things that we are aware of. You know, I would talk, the logic, reason, all of that. This is tuning into our conscious mind. But there's also a part which is called the subconscious mind. And that is the part of the mind that has no filters, that really takes in the information like a sponge, that does not make a difference between what's right and what's wrong. It just sees everything as truthful. And it is said, and also shown through research, that the majority of adults, that all their actions that they do on a daily basis is actually based on the subconscious mind that was formed in the first seven years, from zero to seven years, of their lives. So subconscious mind is really formed by how you were programmed. So your, um, how you have been raised by your parents, uh, the things that have been taught to you through school by your teachers, other uh, important peers and 
people of authority, like for instance, uh, when you were young and you uh, did something actively through sports. So your coach could be someone of authority that you highly valued at that time. And everything that he or she was telling you, it was really like your religion, right? So that is being stored into your subconscious mind. And it runs on autopilot because you hear these messages practically every day during that time. And that part of your brain just takes in that information without really screening it first and saying, okay, yeah, I, I agree with that or no, I don't agree with that. And, you know, I kick that out or I, I, I let it in. So without n knowing it on purpose, we have all these messages stored in our bodies, in the cells of our bodies, because our cells carry memory. And yesterday I talked about memory, didn't I? Uh, let's see. No, the day before, day 17, it was about memory. Anyways, back to today's marvelous M word, which is mind. So because of that, you might be interacting with people or you come across situations now in your current life that make you respond or react in a way that is based on your belief system that was created during your childhood so that was stored in your subconscious mind part and then you see you know you 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 encounter obstacles, inner blocks, and you, you, you feel you, you are stuck in some things. And in order to change that so that you can experience something completely different in that particular area, it's not enough only to try to change that with your conscious mind part. It really needs to go down deeper into, and you have to connect to that part of your subconscious mind that triggered that response in that situation that you have and then you felt frustrated about or something. So there are many wonderful tools and strategies on how you can really change the stories the belief systems that was poured into your subconscious mind so that you can have a completely different experience today. I hope that makes sense, that you can follow it so far. If not, please let me know that I can have an additional video about this wonderful subject of the mind. Remember that in one of the videos, let me see which one that is, where I talked about the idea of massaging your mind. That was uh, day number 13. As a way, as a tool and strategy to massage your mind on a more deeper level through holistic approach so that your subconscious mind can be reprogrammed in a way that will benefit you in your current life. So that's my idea of this marvelous word, M-word M mind. Now I would love to hear from you. What is your definition of the word mind and how do you use your mind <laughs> in order to live a delicious, marvelous life that you absolutely love? Please let me know down below. Let's have a deep, rich, and meaningful conversation about that. And hopefully, I have inspired you. And if you know someone that could benefit from one of my videos, please feel free to share. I would truly appreciate that. And meanwhile, I thank you so much for investing your time and energy in watching my videos. I really do honor that and acknowledge that. Thank you so much. And I would love to see you tomorrow for the next delicious, marvelous words to, to, to share with you tomorrow. So, bye for now.